Hello and welcome to a new topic difference between neurolinguistics and psycholinguistics. We will talk about differences between the two on the basis of what they focus upon, what research methods do they apply, what clinical applications do they follow, and what interdisciplinary connections do they have. So let's discuss each one of them in detail. So first, we'll talk about introduction. Both neurolinguistics and psycholinguistics share common interests in understanding the cognitive processes underlying language. However, there are crucial distinctions between the two fields regarding their focus. How do they focus upon methodology, application and connection? Now let's talk about how and what they focus upon. That is to say neurolinguistics and psycholinguistics. What do they focus upon? Let's first talk about neurolinguistics. It specifically examines the relationship between brain mechanisms and language. We have some more ideas. It explores how linguistic information is processed, acquired and used by the brain. Now we have psycholinguistics. In contrast, psycholinguistics is broader in scope. It addresses the psychological processes that underlie language perception, production and representation. I don't want to explain each of the difficult terms in detail because I have already had a good discussion about psycholinguistics and neurolinguistics. We continue our discussion about the differences between the two and now research methods. How do they apply both neurolinguistics and psycholinguistics? It often employs neuroimaging techniques such as fMRI, EEG and PET scans, they are technical terms, to investigate the brain's functioning while processing language. Neurolinguistics, they are somehow very much near to pure science. Now, in comparison, psycholinguistics relies on behavioral experiments and observation cognitive models to examine the cognitive processes responsible for language processing and learning. We continue our discussion. Now we have clinical applications. How neurolinguistics and psycholinguistics use clinical applications. It has strong clinical applications, particularly in the assessment and treatment of language disorders resulting from neurological conditions such as aphasia and brain injury. Now we have psycholinguistics. On the other hand, psycholinguistics contributes to understanding the cognitive aspects of language disorders like dyslexia, providing approaches to improve reading comprehension and literacy skills. We continue our discussion between the two interdisciplinary connections between neurolinguistics and psycholinguistics. While both neurolinguistics and psycholinguistics are interdisciplinary fields, neurolinguistics tends to connect more closely with neuroscience, neurology, and cognitive science. So neurolinguistics is more inclined to pure science. In contrast, psycholinguistics has stronger ties to psychology, linguistics, and education. You can understand the difference and its interdisciplinary connections as well. Continue our discussion. Now let's talk in brief about both neurolinguistics and psycholinguistics. Summary of what I have discussed so far. Both are distinct yet complementary fields that contribute to our understanding of language from different perspectives. We continue our discussion. Summary about neurolinguistics and psycholinguistics. While neurolinguistics focuses on the neural basis of language, it focuses upon the brain, brain mechanism and its connection to language. Psycholinguistics addresses the broader psychological processes involved in language processing and learning. We have some more ideas about summary in brief about neurolinguistics and psycholinguistics. And what are they? Both fields play essential roles in enhancing our understanding of language skills and developing evidence-based language education and therapy. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you and goodbye.